Hi there, and welcome back to another video. My name's Amir, and I'm a solutions engineer here at MEND. Today, we're going to be going through our new unified CLI, how to install it, and how to run a scan. Stay tuned. To get started, we need to head over to our documentation page. These can be found at docs.mend.io. If you navigate over to the download MEND CLI section, we'll be able to start to download and use the CLI. But before we do so, there are a couple of things we need to check. First and foremost, the operating system we're using. We need to ensure that we download the relevant CLI for the operating system we use. We also need to ensure that we have an active MEND account. This is in order to be able to get the SAST API key along with your SCA API token as well, just to make sure that you are able to access the environments and then get the results as you'd expect. The procedure can be found within the documentation. So in order to find the SCA one, you need to head over to your SCA instance and then head over to your profile and you can find your identity to get your username and also get your user key there from the section as well. Make sure to copy these and keep these on your notepad. And likewise, for SAST, we can head over to our SAST engine and make sure that we're getting the API key from the settings within the actual dashboard. Again, you don't need to do this for both of them. If you just want to configure the SCA side of things, you can, or if you just want to configure the SAS side of things, again, you can. But through this actual demonstration, we're going to be doing both of the integrations. Once we've got the relevant information we need, we can then scroll down and see the commands for the download. Again, this is where your operating system comes into place. You understand which platform you're using. So for example, if you're on a Linux-based platform, you can use the specific commands. You simply copy this command out, put it into your terminal, and then we're good to start. So once we've copied the command that we saw on the documentation page, we can go to our terminal and put that within our terminal. Now I've already done this, so I won't reinstall my actual CLI, but you will be able to verify that the CLI has installed by typing in the command mend. And as you can see, we get a help view to be able to see the usage of this command. Now that we've verified that we have actually installed the CLI, we can actually authenticate ourselves using the API tokens and the user keys that we stored throughout the last step. So if we type in mend or login, you can see that we get a page here to enable us to authenticate ourselves throughout the configuration window. You select the relevant window or environment that's relevant for you. In my case, it's the EU one. And then you select the products that you actually want to authenticate for. If you want to do all of them, you can toggle them by hitting the right. Or if you want to do them one by one, you can just do that by space. In this case, I'm going to authenticate for all of the products. This is where we start to enter our API token for SAST. And then once you've done so, you'll be asked for the SCA one and obviously your email address there as well. Once you've entered those, you can start to scan, which we'll go through in just a second. Now in this example, I'm using a repository that I've already built. But if you have not, it's best advised to build that application and ensure that all the dependencies are being pulled down. So if we quickly type in the command mend SCA, you can see that we can start to scan this actual repository straight away. It will kick off the scanning section and then it will start to find out the results and provide them to you right within the terminal. Once we retrieve the results, you'll get a nice graph that shows you exactly the vulnerabilities we found, and it breaks them down for you one by one, as you can see here. And you can see that if we scroll to the top, see how many vulnerabilities we've identified, in this case 59, in the 142 dependencies we found, and we break them down by their severity, critical, high, medium, and low. We then give you the libraries we found along with their CVE IDs, and then we also give you the top fix for this vulnerability. Now we don't just stop there, we also let you know if we found any policy violations within your organization. So as we know, policies are rules that you can set, and if we found components violating any of these rules, we will let you know about it straight away. And last but not least, we show you the paths at risk as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful, and if you have any questions, please reach out.